Known as the Grand Dame of Pluck String Instruments, the pipa is one of the most technically challenging instruments in the family of Chinese musical instruments. In 1965, the formation of the People's Association Chinese Orchestra led to a rise in the popularity of the pipa amongst Singaporeans. Hi, my name is Yan Qian, I'm from Eastern Music. Today, I'm going to introduce to you the Chinese musical instrument, pipa. This is a pipa, and it has four strings. They are tuned to A, D, E, and A. And usually has four octaves. This is the head of the pipa. And these are the four tuning packs. You can tune the pipa by turning the packs here. And these are the frets of the pipa. There are 30 frets all together arranged in chromatic order. We use the five fingers on our right hand to play the pipa. On our fingers, we tip artificial nails to produce louder and brighter tones when we play. The left hand is used to press the strings onto the frets to produce notes and chords. The pipa uses a variety of techniques to produce its unique sound. This is a tan, the tiao, the shuang tan, the shuang tiao, the guan zhou, the lun zhou, the sao, and the fu. And these are the left hand techniques. The an shi yin, fan yin, ren gong fan yin, and the jiao xuan. And now I'll play for you an excerpt from Chun Yu, which depicts rain sounds in the spring. Next is an excerpt from Yi Zhu Wuqi or Dance of the Yi Tribe. Now I'll perform for you Cheng Li de Yue Guang or Moonlight in the City. 
This song was locally composed for a Channel 8 TV drama in the 90s. Hope you enjoyed.